Hey guys, Joe and Kelly here from Big Shark Gaming. Today we're doing something different. We're gonna do a dual stream of us playing Pokemon Go. Um, oh shit. <laughs> um, so we bought some instances and uh, incenses, like West Virginia. <laughs> um, and um, we're about to pop them. Um, so, three? Uh, well, well alright, Kelly's gonna be. Oh wait! What? How's my. How's my head of yours? Yes, it's like it. <clears throat> Alright, so I see I'm real close to getting 25. My first Pokemon to pop up is underneath my legs. Uh, so I got a Murkrow. Kelly got Nidoran, a female, who she's excited about. I'm going to turn the AR off. Um, Kelly's going to be bold and keep her AR on. Oh, never mind, turn it off. Oh, critical capture! Me? Yeah. All right, so that's you want to make a game out of this. All right, um, the game is going to be simple. Um, one point for every Pokemon caught, and two points if it's a rare. Um, so we'll each have one point. We should each get maybe about like four or five Pokemon from this. Um, so. As you see over here, this is pretty much our town layout. We got a few gyms. Uh, we actually have a Cyndaquil nest right here. Um, a Cyndaquil or two will spawn every hour or so. I know it's not the most like prominent nest, but I caught two Cyndaquils there in a matter of five seconds. And as you see, there's another one there right now. Um, so that's good. And then back in the park over here, um, my screen's on the left, Kelly's on the right. Um, we have um, a Letty Ball nest, and in the park, uh, let's see if I can get to it, like around over here, there is a Jinx spawn spot. It's not quite a nest, but it's a spawn spot that, uh, okay, Kakuna, get the fuck out of here, um, is pretty good. We caught Jinx today. <coughs> um, so that actually puts me up to a pretty good number now on Kanto decks. Yeah, you're probably stronger. Three oh nine. Three forty three. So those are my strongest Pokemon. Um, still working on completing the Pokedex. As you see, I haven't spent a whole lot of money on this game. I'm not trying to. <laughs> but trying to hatch some eggs as well. Hatch ten K egg. Hegs. <laughs> Stop laughing. Yeah, um, I've played a lot more than Kelly has. Um, Walking Magnum right now because I still need Magnum Solid. Um, but I've gotten 125 out of the 142 candle Pokemon. Um, and Johto, we are at 44. So 167 total, I believe that should be. If I could do 166. Oh, 169 apparently. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. 125 plus 44. I'm sick, guys. Um, I know. I, I get sick a lot. Um, I'm like looking around. You're, you're just like staying in there on your screen. Um, what am I going to look at that they can't see on yours? <laughs> true. Uh, well, you're probably one. Kelly has Aerodactyl, and I don't have Aerodactyl. I hatched another 10k egg the other day, and it was another Jatini. I said a while back how on a stream, I think it was Dragon Quest Builders, how I was having a hard time getting Dragonair. It was pretty much the only Pokemon I was having a hard time getting. And ever since then, I've gotten two Dratinis from two 10k eggs, and that's it. It was the only two 10k eggs I've gotten. And it sucks. Well, I powered up my Dragonite up to 1914. I got this guy when he was about 700 CP. On July 10th, so pretty much right after the game came out, he's got to be one of the original Dragonites, but he's a work in progress, and he's my sixth strongest Pokemon. I want to go back and do, um, <coughs> excuse me, another Pokemon Showdown episode using my sixth strongest Pokemon. I think it would be interesting. I got these ones? Yeah. So my team would be right on Snorlax, Vaporeon, Exeggutor, Arcanine, and Atomos, which is Dragonite. Alright, so 
Just waiting for that second book. It should pop up soon. Usually, I think it's about every five minutes or so on an intense if you're not walking around. Or like every 500 kilometers or some shit, 200 kilometers. I forget the layout. But yeah, I, I got like this cold or flu or whatever it is. It sucks. <laughs> um, it really does suck. But uh, we, we were trying to see if we could stream both devices on the computer, which we obviously were able to do. Um, oh, Kelly's both pop up as mine. She gets an EV, I get a bell sprout. 39 CP, huh? <laughs> 509. Uh, Alright, stop dancing, Bell <coughs> Yeah, and she found out that um, she could stream her phone through our Roku onto the TV. So she was playing Pokemon Go on our TV. Uh, I'll release this guy. I mean, I could evolve him and just get closer leveling up. As you see, I'm trying to get like one of every Pokemon. There's still some things I'm missing, though. Not Pikachu. Yeah, not festive Pikachus. We got Santa hats at the butt. I only saw one of the... Oh, I think I saw two. I think I have both of them. Yeah, I have two of them. <laughs> one's for Kelly, yeah. Once the training eventually comes out. Then I got Santa hat, Raichu. Um, I have this thing going on where I like to have evolved Pokemon that a week. Um... I think it's pretty funny. Like 36 CP Weaving Bell. I need to get another duo. Do duo, rather. Um, so yeah, I had a really I had a really strong Lickitung. It was like 1500 CP and then I got rid of it so I could catch this 67 CP Lickitung. Uh, I'm ready for Kingdra. I just need to get Dragonstone. I've gotten one evolution item. One, and it's an upgrade. Yeah, Kelly got two dittos, but I have 114 magic carp candies. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm ready to evolve Sunkern. I just need to get the stone. Um, <laughs> Dunsparce. I don't need two of those. Back to the wild, Dunsparce. <laughs> Puberty Hans, Hans, this is baby Hans, ABC 1 to 3, and Puberty Hans, I see I'm at the 65 candy, I'm getting ready for Mammoth Swine, which is Hans, um, Fan P, Tom, and Pupitar, Pupitar is weaker than uh, my Larvitar, because I hatched Larvitar from an egg, no, I call it Larvitar at the mall, I believe, yeah, and Pupitar I call it on Fair Street, when we were going under the... Um, overpass and you couldn't catch it. Oh yeah. Because it was being a dick to you. And then, <clears throat> yeah. Still waiting on Grand Bull. What? Gligar. Gligars are pretty rare. I've seen a few of them. A few Sneasels. Uh, I got a really weak Umbreon. Um, Umbreon kind of sucks. SB on the other hand is not so bad. Um, mm. Which one? Oh, Azumarill. Peak Blue. <laughs> what? That's when um, the second gen games were coming out, everyone saw like the sprites for um, them early, but the Azumarill one was only a silhouette. So when you see like just a blacked out image of Azumarill, it looks a lot like Pikachu. So everyone thought it was like Pika Blue, because um, it was originally in the coding for the red and blue games. So everyone was just like, oh, it's probably gonna be an alternate evolution for Pikachu. But um, oh yeah, it's two two. Oh, um, but it ended up being its own evolution, and Azumarill is actually awesome. Uh, Zoomerals has actually been one of those people that like have bounced through the tiers quite a lot in its years since it came out. So these gyms are not really. Oh, Vileplumes in there. You don't usually see Vileplumes in there. 
these gyms, you don't really see a lot of diversity in this area. Um, everyone's still using pretty much the same Pokemon. Uh, I bet there's a lot more of the same here. Snorlax, Blissey, Snorlax, Vaporeon, Executor, Gyarados, Espeon, Executor, Rhydon, Vaporeon. And there's more gyms around. There's one down here. Um, there's one in the park as well. Executor, Vaporeon, Vaporeon. I probably won't be able to get the one in the park. <laughs> oh, Pokemon's popping up. <laughs> Me and Kelly both got Spinarak. <clears throat> oh, oh, I got him. <laughs> I don't know say. I don't know how I got him that time. Ah. All right. Oh, we poofed. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm at three. Yeah. Kelly's at two. I'm gonna release this bad mother hugger. Oops. <laughs> Kelly wrote here on this. She's like Kelly Hart's Joseph, and she put fuck fuck won't go. We do have to check um our cash for life numbers. Um, we were in Speedway the other day, and this isn't the first time it's happened. But the kid that works there, whenever someone I go there pretty much two or three times a day, just because right here, if you can see like on the map where it's clicking, that's Speedway. Um, so. I go there a few times a day because obviously it's right across the street. And um, the kid there, he'll save any lot tickets that people didn't collect. Um, this is my job. This is where I work, down here, if you can see any clicking. Um, and the mall is down this way where you can't see into a dark abyss. And somewhere along those lines. Right around here. Oh, I can't see that. It's way back there. Um, in the mountains. Those mountains are real, by the way. Those are actually there. Um, <laughs> it's not the shadowing in the game. We're completely surrounded by mountains, and that's the truth. Um, <clears throat> My battery's dying. Yeah, how's your battery dying faster than it's charging? Mm -hmm. Weird. I hope your battery makes it the rest of the time. It's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we will finish. You just have to lower your brightness. It's fine. Kelly's like, that's not an option. <laughs> I can't see if it gets any darker than this. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're just weighing it out. Um, this right here, this area right here where I'm clicking now. Um... It actually is where I used to stay when I used to come up and visit Kelly. Um, I used to come up like once every like four to six weeks. And I used to stay at the Clarendon Hotel. Oh. What? Townhouse. <laughs> yeah, this little like boomerang looking thing. It looks like it's a gun that's about to shoot me. It's probably uh probably probably is a gun there. It's about to shoot me that's the townhouse in. That's where like all like the poor people go. Um or skeezies. This is uh, James Georgeson Street right here where I'm clicking, uh, which is funny because one of my coworkers and a good friend of mine, his name is James George. So whenever I would come up here, I would take a picture and send him that. <laughs> but I've been like... What? I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. I've been relying on Theraflu. Well, actually, Alka-Seltzer. Mm -hmm. I'm relying on Alka-Seltzer all day today. I, I only feel like... Even a slightly bit better when <coughs> I take that. And at first I was drinking it in tea. And. The pharmacist told you. Yeah. Funny. I asked the one pharmacist, oh, can I take this in tea as well? And the girl had no idea. And then well, she. She's just a pharmacy tech. She's yeah. An actual pharmacist. Um, and the pharmacist was like, yeah, it's probably going to taste a little foul. And he was right. It tastes foul. And the thing about it with tea is that like it sunk to the bottom, so you get it all in one sip, and it was ugh, not good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, really sniffly. Probably noticed by now. Um, so we beat Digimon. 
Are you good? I'm just so bored. You're bored? Throw something on the TV. I wonder if I could have this on the computer and the TV at the same time. <laughs> but then you'd be <laughs> even more bored. Damn. Your phone got to go 11% in 15 minutes. I think it will be okay. Yeah. I mean, we started out at like 14. Yeah. 17. We started out at 17. 17. Daddy. Yay. What is that? Oh, Bloody Ball popped up on your screen and I got a not to. Um, so. Oh, my, Whoa. oh no, no, no. Oh. Um, so Kelly. Whoa, it's going crazy. It's doing it. It's always Lighty Boss. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, uh, we uploaded a video of Kelly's Pokemon Go going absolutely batshit crazy like a week ago. <clears throat> Alright. Capture for both of us. Score is now 4-3. to three. Um, 4 to 15 not to is not bad. Not too bad. Dur, 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 dur. Um, but yeah, we finished Pokemon, not Pokemon, Digimon World Next Order, we finally beat it, um, the finale was crazy, uh, I really thought that I was gonna die, but I got a really clutch EXE evolution, uh, hi Melissa, <laughs> Melissa, um, if you guys remember, we put up a video, and it was, uh, the Be Careful video, Melissa was actually the one that was recording that video, oh shit, my prop sand fell off. Uh, yeah, she was the one that got kicked with the ball and her phone went flying. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's Kelly's sister. Um, she's awesome. We need to get her down here one time and play Million Dollars Ball again soon. That's fine. Yeah. Let's well, do it over the summer, though. Yeah, once it gets a little bit warmer and I'm not constantly sick. I guess I can kind of talk about it now. Um... The whole job thing that I was, mm. I ended up not taking, well, I, I ended up just like rejecting it without even saying as much as a thing, um, because I think I'm going to hold out for this other opportunity that I'm probably going to have during the summer. Um, okay. Wow, well, oh, that wasn't even, no. uh, there's a hoodoo, oh, I got a pen, um, Oh, Kelly interference! <laughs> she fucked up my curve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you, dude! I would have caught you. Fly away, fly away, fly away, fly away. Because it's four to four now. Um. Uh, oh, the pen. Yep. Oh, the pen. Oh, the pen is gone. It's down there. Five to four now. Um. Uh, yeah. So I had this other opportunity. Um. I was getting pretty stressed out of my job, and I'm still stressed out of my job, but I was seeking another opportunity at Aldi, and I had my interview, and it went well. They called me back in for another interview, but it was Monday, which is today, and it was going to be at 11 o'clock. Now, normally, I would be just about getting ready to go to work at 11 o'clock. 11.30, I usually start getting prepared to go to work, because I work from 12 to 8, um, with an asterisk, because I'm never really out at 8 o'clock. Um, but, you know, I came in late on Friday, I obviously had permission to come in late, because I had an interview, and then I couldn't come in late again, and I was going to call them Sunday to postpone it, but Sunday I felt awful, I went to work, I worked on a 10 hour day, and I chose to sleep during my break, as opposed to calling them and rescheduling it. Um, the last two nights I have gotten not a lot of sleep, um, just because... I wake up and I can't breathe, and so this morning I woke up and I felt awful, so I called out of work, and um, I've just been relaxing all day, taking my alka seltzer and relaxing, and we went up to Rite Aid, and we bought some stuff to get me to feel a bit better, and Kelly went out to Walmart to buy Pokemon cards to make me feel better, and God, those packs were awesome. Probably the best packs I've ever opened, and I mean this. The final packs we opened were XY Evolutions, but we always do it in like a dueling format, and uh, Kelly flips over her card, 
and it was a Mega Charizard Y EX. And we were crazy excited about that. And I look at my card, and it was a gold Dragonite. And it was probably one of the happiest moments in my Pokemon life. Because, like, those two cards I really want. The only card I need now from the base set, um, besides, like, the one for my collection, but the one I want is just the base set Charizard. Charizard. <coughs> Charizard. And we'll get it eventually. Um, even if we have to buy, like, an XY Evolutions Elite Trainer Box, <laughs> we'll get it. Uh, but yeah, so I ended up not calling Aldi back. They called me twice. Um, about to get more Pokemon. I got another Hoot Hoot. And Kelly gets a uh, Caterpie. Caterpie are hard to catch. So, uh, good luck over there, Kelly. Caterpie's a little dicks. Oh, she called me. Thanks. Oh, I got a critical catcher. It's 6'5". Six, 6'5". Oh. Six, oh, man. Okay. Hey, bro. I'm tired, too. It's already almost 11 o'clock. <laughs> but yeah, the best thing about me calling out today, even though I was feeling sick, was that... Not that I'll get paid for it, because I will, but... Um, I'm off tomorrow, so it gives me another day to, like, rest up and relax and just... Get better. Um, <clears throat> it's funny, because, like... 26 years old, I've never had the flu, and this is the first year of my life I ever got the flu shot, because I needed to do it for work. I got the flu shot, it fucked me up a little bit, I got really sore, I didn't get sick, but like, I got sore, and then, um, there's been five strains of the flu to hit my hospital already this season, and... It's the wrong strain that we got inoculated for. So, go figure. The first year I get the flu shot. Also, the first year I get the flu. I'm just hoping I feel better. Bored. <clears throat> Kelly's looking at me like, I can't wait for these eight minutes to be over. <laughs> I wonder how far along the game that we're downloading is. Less than halfway. <laughs> I'm gonna check real quick. <laughs> no sabotaging. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> oh shit, I gotta. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Does that mean the PlayStation wasn't on this time? It's been on, it's just oh. been in a rest mode. <laughs> Oh, <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's, oh, it's about half. Oh. It's at, yeah, it's over half, actually. Oh, uh, eight hours left. Eight hours, yay. Oh, Axel's on. I guess how long Axel's been on? 23 hours. <laughs> right, I'm going to say seven. Oh. <laughs> Mark has been on all day. Fucking. What the fuck is with these people I know? What's Dice? Uh, he's playing Battlefield 1. It's the tournament. Oh, he's gone oh. down. He's gone down in rank considerably. He was in like the 40,000s. I think he's 73,000. You should tell one he's ahead. Axe has only been on. Oh, shit. Only been on for four <laughs> hours and 50 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Something popped up on my screen that I closed. I don't know what I'm saying. Oops. Oops. <laughs> don't you think we had enough damaging weather? Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, two Pokemon cards away from completing the Kanto collection, and that is Slowbro and Kadabra. I have Mega Slowbro. Um. That doesn't count. But that doesn't count. <laughs> it doesn't. <coughs> I really hope I didn't forget to like change the audio line. Are you playing your nose? 
I can tell Kelly's bored. 9%. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Five minutes. So I have gotten my seven day streak a number of times. I'm like, nah, berries are stupid. And I've only gotten one evolution item. Upgrade, right? Cool, right? Except for the fact that I had never caught a Vortigon. So I got an evolution item for a Pokemon I don't have, who I'll need a ton of candy for. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm just, just fucked. Is that your phone? Could be. Oh, there's a Pokemon underneath us. Underneath you. Uh, it should be underneath you too. Oh, now there oh, is. Oh, better than that. All right, Murkrow. Oh, <laughs> Strong <laughs> oh, you piece of shit! <laughs> Should I just try Pokeballs? Yeah, I would just. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, you got the pen. <clears throat> I did. Oh. Fucking sack. I never get anything rare from fucking incenses. Do I? Never. I get like crap. Shittiest shit on the shittiest side of the shit town. People are gonna be like, oh my god, you're team Valor, you know, the fucking schmuck. Everyone hates Valor, and I don't know why. Hi. I hate it too. You're team Valor. <laughs> Your hearts always look like butts. <laughs> <laughs> that sneeze. Bussy, bussy. Bussy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't got boogers in my nose. That's I'll be back. That's right. Would you be mad at me if I just sold all your, or covered all your Pikachus? Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> mm. Oh, I see. Didn't have anything like incriminating up. Well, what I have on? <laughs> Not that I mean, like. There's been times where like YouTubers were like be streaming like a game or like an iPad game, and like they'll accidentally go to your home menu and you'll be like, porn folders and shit. I had a Pie. I'm not surprised. And the name of the folder was regretful porn. I mean, he's a trash bag. Kelly hates Pootie Pie. I hate most people. <clears throat> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> she hates me like 95% of the time. And we're getting married. That's true. I do hate you 95% of the time. You're, you're gonna be hanging out with like me one day and just gonna pull the gay blind just like fuck you, Joe Aaron. I see someone like you all the time. <laughs> Believe it or not. But I said stuff like that too long before they did. No, you, you've never said, like, fuck you, Joe Aaron. You've always just said, fuck you. Why would I call you Joe Aaron? It's weird. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I gotta go to the post office tomorrow. Post office. Mail out Kelly's pantaloons. <laughs> oh, man. I'm starting to feel icky again. Alright, we have a minute and 18, 17 seconds left. I think Kelly has like an obsession with writing her name. If you ever leave her. I'm so bored. <laughs> I don't know why you agreed <laughs> to do this. I was like, oh, you want to do this? She's like, yeah, we can. Because usually when I do this, I'm watching you play a game or something, not just sitting here. Waiting for five minutes to pass to catch a fucking Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a miserable person. Yeah, he's so <laughs> angry. <laughs> she, she'll wake up in the middle of the night and just be like, why am I sleeping so much? That's not true. I know, it's never once happened. I don't think we're going to get another Pokemon. We think, won't. Because this game is <clears throat> a waste of time. 
It really is, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of bothered by the fact that your Poke Radar says Radita, Letty, and Radita. Mine's Letty and Radita, Radita. Like, this is a game of slots. We'd be doing pretty fucking... Well, we'd be doing good if the next row included Raditas. Because we have a chance for, like, a two combo from top left corner, middle, and bottom right com uh, corner. Well, this isn't a game. Oh, well, there it goes. That's the end of our instance. Um, well, thank you guys for watching this video and listening to uh, me talk and Kelly complain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Oh. <laughs> like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.